We live in a time when the truth is being exchanged for a lie and good is being called evil because the truth and the light becomes very uncomfortable to this world. This is the reason for many false religions today because in them exists no light and they are appealing to the lost. There's no conviction, just an organization by works. In Luke 11.35 it says, Take care that the light that is in you is not darkened. Now look, don't be concerned about your appearance or your surroundings. They cannot dim this light. But there is one thing that can. Mark 7.15 There is nothing outside man that enters into him that can defile him. But the things that come out of him, those are they that defile a man. You see, your light is used to bring conviction. If it does not change your tongue, it will not be received by the lost world. James 3.10 Out of the same mouth proceeds blessings and cursings? These things ought not to be so. If you're not controlling your tongue, your light has been dimmed and then your religion becomes a form of vanity. James 1.26 says, If any man among you seem religious and does not control his tongue, he deceives his own heart, and the man's religion is in vain. Your light is meant to bring awareness. The world is in a lost condition, and the light reveals that condition to them and turns them to a savior. But an uncontrolled tongue can diminish that light inside of you. And what you do is reveal your own condition. And if it is not right with God, they will have no desire to be right with God either. Ephesians 5.13 says, But all things that are reproved are shown their condition by the light. And whatever brings this awareness is light. You're called the children of light because you are to bring awareness and you yourself become that deliverer of light because of Christ in you. If your light is complete, you'll be able to stand next to darkness without a word and they will feel conviction. But when you have to use words to convict because the light in you has become dim, you have lost your ability to bring awareness. The Bible says a double-minded man tries to exist in two places at once. And in James 1.8 it says, they're unstable in every way. You have to become single-minded to carry light. And that mind, as Paul says, has to be focused clearly on Jesus Christ. Romans 11.34-36 says, if your eye is single, then your whole body is full of light. If your eye is also on evil, then your whole body is filled with darkness. And if you're full of light, take no part in darkness. The Bible demands that you make a clear and evident choice of who you serve. You cannot entertain both worlds. You have to be completely fallen head over heels in love with Jesus Christ and want no part with this existing world in order for your light to be filled with a substance that saves the lost. And if you try to exist in both worlds, the Bible says darkness will refill itself again. You know, John 3.20 says, For everyone that does evil hates the light, neither do they come to the light, or their deeds would be revealed. It is the way we are to feel about the darkness that exists in this world. And we have to use great care not to find any kind of appeal to this darkness. Don't try to blend yourself to it in order to save. Don't try to appear to be very similar because there is no similarities. We are to simply hate it but love the sinner. You know, if they don't get the light to shine on them, then there is nothing revealed that they will change from. John 3.20 says, For everyone that does evil hates the light, neither do they come to the light, 
When you hate evil, you will be drawn to the one true living God. But if you compromise with evil, then these false religions become appealing and you can be attracted to them. Isaiah 5.20 says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, and change darkness for light and light for darkness. It's an exchange that's going on today. Because we have not become familiar with the brightness of the one true light, people find it very easy to exchange for dim or even darkness. The light of the gospel can only be full through the study of the word. And the enemy knows if he can get you out of the Bible, he can get you out of his business. That brightness is so important. 2 Corinthians 4, 3 through 4 says, If the gospel is hid, it is hid from them that are lost, in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them that don't believe. Least the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine on them. These people in this life are being blinded, and only true light can heal that blindness. When you replace it with gimmicks to salvation or pep rallies in churches to draw them closer on Sunday, you are not bringing sight to the blind. You are bringing appeal to the flesh. That's why God doesn't need the tongue. He just needs the brightness of his spirit in your life and the words he will give you at that moment. John 9, 5 and 6 says, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. And if you are children of the light, you're cautioned to care for that light. Luke 11.35 says, Take care that the light in you is not darkened. This is food that I provided to my family for years. I want to now provide it to you. I hope you'll share it with a friend. If you like it, I'll provide more. Thank you for listening, and God bless you.